And so when you see me swaying, I'm just in the elements. I'm not budging because I'm not uprooted. I'm just swaying. That's all I'm doing. I'm just swaying. designed to build you, not break you. And if you learn how to look at negatives through positive lenses, you'll get a lot further in life. Come on, help me in here. How everything ain't always that bad. Oh yeah, Satan gonna agitate the gravels in your life, but everything, come on, huh? Everything ain't always bad. As a matter of fact, you need some bad days in your life for some of us to tell God thank you. Because if everything was going good, we just sit. Dignified. Okay, you don't like the word churchified. Mm -hmm. Lips tight. Mm -hmm. God has to allow some things to take place in your life for you to open up your mouth. And it's a shame when the preacher has to spend 30 seconds huh, of his message trying to pump, push, pull, and prime folk to open up their mouths. Because you know, here it is, rewind, play, close mouths, don't get fed. The only way God knows if you need him, you need to open up your mouth. I need you right now. Oh, so, 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 the ground provides strength against wind, storms, and elements. But number two, the ground provides sustenance. I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. It provides strength and it provides sustenance. In other words, it provides nourishment to maintain through life's adversities. As a believer, my job is to be a sponge. You know what I just said? Uh, uh, to be a sponge to draw sustenance and strength from Christ. And it only happens when I have a continuous communion in Christ. Huh? So when the Holy Spirit, when I'm walking in Christ and the Holy Spirit is talking to me, guess what? I'm soaking up every bit I can because what I don't know is what's going to happen to me outside of these four walls. So I don't just praise God in here. I praise him out there. Come on, help me in here. I don't just worship him in here, but I worship him out there. I don't just lift him in here. I lift him out there because present participation requires prior preparation. Praise him before I get here. Oh, help me in here. Mm. Learn how to lift him before you come to church. Because sometimes you ain't got time to be dignified. Holy Spirit hit you, guess what? A left shoe go this way, a right shoe go back that way, four dodging shoes, and guess what? They ain't bad because they in the same spirit that you in. Come on, talk back to me if you can. We're talking about walking in Christ. And you can't walk in Christ and walk in your feelings at the same time. God ain't never been concerned about how you feel. He's concerned about how he feels in you. And the question that you ought to ask is, is my master satisfied with me? Paul, let me put it like this. Paul says, it is God that worketh in me both willing to do for his good pleasure. Uh, it is God that worketh in me both willing to do for his good pleasure. In other words, God works in me. God wills to work in me until he's satisfied. Not until I'm satisfied. You see, I run out of energy. And some of us in here can test her because I'm looking at somebody in here right now. You left eye just about to sleep. And you're right, her head open. So now I ain't seen smile since I've been in church. It's okay, smile right now. Huh? It, look, look at them and say, it's okay. We want a place of power. You can smile, you can laugh. Come on, help me in here. I'll do whatever makes you happy in the spirit. Put that preface on that, huh? In the spirit. 
It's God is not concerned about me working until I'm satisfied. God wants me to work until he's satisfied. And, this one, and God knows exactly how much energy, how much wisdom, how much finesse it takes for me to push and for me to press and for me to pull my way through whatever situation because God has never put more on me than when he's willing to bath through me. Come on, y'all. And so God has never told me to climb a mountain. God told me to speak to it. Come on, help me in here. Do I have any mountain speakers in the building? God told me to speak to the mountain and the mountain got to get out of my way. And that's what you need to tell the devil. Get out of my way. You have no place in my family. No place in my marriage. No place in my kids. No place in my church. No place on my job. Get out of my Get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, looking for some, for some radical folk. Mm, come on, help me. Huh? You heard me say just a few Sundays ago, listen, if your clothes, your church clothes, that you wear to church, are too cute, for you to do warfare. Uh, come back next Sunday with a different outfit. Because a soldier don't go to battle concerned about his necktie. And sometimes the tie has to go. Come on, help me in here, huh? Patty LaBelle does her best singing when she kicks off of her heels. Come on, help me in here. And sometimes, God wants you to get downright indignified. Sometimes you got to be ugly for Jesus. You ain't worried about how nobody else looking at you. It's between you and Jesus. You didn't die for me. You didn't set me free. You didn't shed blood for me. It's about Jesus. I gotta get out of here. 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 Uh, I gotta get out of here. Watch this, watch this, watch this. The believer, the believer, the believer, the believer, the believer uh, is, is in continuous communion in Christ. The word grounded, that the word grounded, the present tense, the present tense of this word emphasizes a continual process of growth. Continuous process that grounded that, a continuous process, it's ongoing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Growth is a process. Look at your neighbor and say, don't fight the process. Don't fight the process. Yeah, 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 yeah. The believer has to be. Grounded. Look at your neighbor and say grounded. 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 Now, the imagery painted, of course, is that of a building being constructed, and the strength of the building is only as strong as the foundation. Right. Uh -huh. And so we as believers know that Christ is the only sure foundation. It just makes good sense for me to be rooted and planted and fixated on the sure foundation. Come on, y'all. The book says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. That's because a double-minded man talks out of what? Out of both sides of his mouth. I can't deal with folk that say one thing and do another. If you don't say something, speak by what you say. And I'm looking for some real folk who know without a shadow of a doubt that you just as sick as I am of dealing with chameleon Christian. One day they green, the next day they blue. You know when they get their income tax because they shouting all over the building. That's in February. In May, they don't want you to say nothing to them. They mad. They upset. They lost their Christianity. They lost their religion. Come on, help me in here. I don't just need God when everything is good. I need God in the bad times in life. Come on,
this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. He says, listen, you'll be continuous in your community. Boy, we almost went there. You'll be continuous in your community. I said, we almost went there. You'll have to be continuous in your, you, you'll catch that minute. I almost went there. You'll be continuous in your communion with Christ. But number two, you have to be firm in your faith in Christ. Ah, be continuous in your communion with Christ and be firm in your faith in Christ. The book says it's in your Bible. If you ain't tore it out, if you don't, if you have it, please turn it to it, if you will. Establish. That word established means strengthened in faith. Lord have mercy. Strengthened in faith. That word established in the present tense points to a continual process of deepening faith. All of us need God to fortify our faith. That word fortify simply means strengthens as well. It means that God and God alone has the ability to make me strong even when I think I'm weak. That simply means that when you think I'm at ground zero, what you don't see is that God actually dug a basement for me to hang my hat. When you, when you thought I should have took hell and ran, but guess what? I didn't run the direction you thought I was going to run. I ran to the church house. I ran to Jesus. I fell down on my face and I said, now Lord, now Lord. Some problems ought to run you to him. I mean, you've been running all around town, tripping. Can I just talk to you colloquially? Uh, may I please use a bit of colloquial jargon and nomenclature? Some of us trip, stumble, and quit because God don't deliver when we think he should. You see, we're good at the invocation, but we don't hang tight for the benediction. Your, huh? If Dr. F. D. Sells a proud pastor around Pastor of the Friendship Baptist Church was here right there in Houston, Texas, on Billington Street, he was standing here. He said, Dawson, some folk are opened up right, but they're sold up wrong. Huh? We start a good start. Huh? We run, huh? We run the race real good until somebody say our child is bad. Until somebody say something sad. Sideways. Uh, you know that child, man. You can't handle that booger yourself. And you just mad because somebody confirmed what you've been saying. Well, Pastor, what, what they said, it was how they said it. And guess what they said? Now, baby, now let me help you with that. That's my child. They said it the most humblest way they know how. They said it with love, but it's my baby. Come on, help me in here. Huh? When I was growing up, guess what? It took a village to raise a child. Anybody could whoop you. Huh? The neighbor across the street told you to go get a switch. And when mama came home, guess what she said? Boy, what you do? Because what she did, what I didn't know, but that they had already taught. And my mama would say, go get a swim. Y'all, let me tell y'all something about my mama. It's for free. I probably will get out into it. Tell you something about my mama. My mother is the only lady I know outside of her mother who could smoke a cigarette.